Okay, this is my first hunt since my surgical procedure exactly seven days ago. Kind of went out today to test things. Found a glass marble in this hole, but that wasn't the treasure. It's a dime. It says one dime. Wonder what it could be. Maybe a barber. I don't know. Ooh, to clean it up later. But silver. Post surgery silver. All right, we'll take it. Hopefully we'll have some more. Come back with the Okay, next. it started getting really trashy, so I had to get out the E-Track and put on the tiny coil. I didn't bring my 11-inch CTX coil, so... Anyway, you got a nice high tone with the small coil. It looks like it's a Merc. Very worn Merc. It's okay, though. We'll take it. Two silvers on the day. Still holding up, haven't popped any stitches or anything. All right, come back with the next. Okay, here's one I want you to listen to. We got the smoke and a lot of trash. It's got a good sound and good depth. I think we'll dig it up and see. Well, that one wasn't silver, it was just a really screaming wheat penny. Maybe because it's all the uh, trash around here too, but not silver. All right, maybe our last one for the day. All right, two days after that last hunt, and I didn't find much, so I'm going to splice the videos together. Got a buffalo nickel is my first find for today. 1936. All right. Off to a good start. Come back with the next. Well, this old park's been kind of stingy since I found that buffalo, but... Got something deep and silvery here. Let me see if you can see my screen. It's reading silver at about nine inches. I think we're gonna dig it up and see what it is. I'm curious. Well, it was silver. It took me a while to get out because it was straight up and down in the plug. It was off a little bit on the pinpoint. It's a barber diamond. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Get her in the light. You can see the back, one dime, pretty nice. All right, silver on edge. Clean it up when we get back. Come back with the next. Okay, back from that combined two hunts, and uh, it's kind of good getting back in the swing of things. I had a little surgery procedure thing that laid me up for a couple weeks, but it got back out there. Uh, the first sight, I really found these two items. I found the marble in the hole with the seated dime. I thought it was going to be a barber, but I cleaned it up, and nope, it is an 1876S seated dime. Pretty cool. Not a bad way to end the year. Then the Merc. It's a 17D. Pretty worn. And then two days later, I went out again to a different spot, and I found one silver. Check out the condition of it. There goes my marble. Whoops. It's just beautiful, really crisp. 1904 Barber. Wow. A little piece of costume jewelry. Uh, one... I don't know. That could have been Civil War era, maybe. This is pretty cool. It's a stick pin from Case Tractor Company. And I did some research and it dates to about the 20s or 30s. So pretty neat. Buffalo Nickel. 1936. It's good to have one with a date. All right. And then this Indian, probably, whoops, the find of the hunt. You can see the condition on there. My phone will zoom in. It's just really, really great shape. And it's a 1968. So, came out of the dirt really, really nice. Both of them did. All right. Well, Slowly but surely, we're getting back out there and getting things done. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please like, share, and subscribe. We farted.